All right, guys, we're at the junkyard today. Ace pick a part. Trying to see if I can locate a part. Um, it's the part that lowers the spare tire down. And so that is essential because about a month ago, I got stranded on the side of the road. And it was like late at night, early in the morning, like 3, 4 in the morning. And so I had to wait because the tow truck driver came and I didn't have that piece to, to lower the spare tire. And so he had to tow me to the um, the tire shop that didn't open until like 8 or 9 that morning. And I was like, I don't want to be stuck in a predicament like that again, especially if I could have just put the spare tire on. So hopefully we can find that piece. The piece we're looking for will actually slide right into here. And so we're about to go in and see if we can find it. Headed towards the entrance now. I believe they charge like $5 to get in. And hopefully they have this part on one of their vehicles. I believe they should have some GMC envoys out in the yard. All right, guys. They don't take debit or credit cards to get in. So when you get in, you got to pay the $5 in cash. But whatever parts you get, you can pay for those parts with your debit or credit card. But So I had to go run to the gas station and um, get some cash from the ATM. Still walking, but we wailing the boonies, boy. We wailing the back. Not sure if you guys can see this, but it says the 2006 GMC Envoy should be on this row, number 410 right there. And I believe it's this white one right here. And hopefully they have this piece, man. It's crazy. Like, I be asking people what's the name of it. Nobody knows the name of it. So... So it's like, let's see. Let's see. We got a a winner. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think. Oh, thank you, God. I don't know if I need one to connect to it, but uh, let me. Um, actually, I can open up the back of this one and, and check. So let me open up the back of this one, and I should be able to tell. Do I need that other piece? Because uh, like I said, it's supposed to go in there like that. So, hold on, let me put this paper down so I can uh, do it with my good hand. Hold on. Do I need that other piece? Hold on. No, I think that's it. I think I don't need the other piece. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. All right, I believe we're in luck because I, I just felt it lock on to something, and I think, think that's the part that I needed to lock on to. Uh, but I think, I'm not sure, I think it's supposed to be like another piece that connects to it also. If not, this is definitely a start because I think the jack, the other part of the jack can hook to this. But let me look around some more. I'm not a mechanic, guys, but I definitely know I need this to get my spare tire down. And what do you know, guys? I looked in all of the envoys they had, and they had some uh, Suzu ascenders on this list and so i was like well let me go ahead and check them also because i got this piece but i wanted all of them and lo and behold this one has all of the pieces so you know i'm gonna go ahead and grab these and you know um i'm trying to think should i take them all i don't know if i need them all i don't think i need them all but i definitely need this one and so we got what we needed but I, I don't want to take them all if I don't need them all because I want to be nice in case somebody else is in the same predicament. And like I said, I'm going to test it out before I leave. And as you can see, it's lowering that spare tire. And, bro, I don't know. Makes me wonder how much is there. Do they charge for tires and rim? Because that tire is in good condition. Um, let me see what the tire look like, bro. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave those two in case anybody else is in the same predicament. I'm not going to be greedy, you know, because... You know, just like I'm in this predicament, somebody else may be in this predicament, and probably so because a lot of the envoys didn't have this piece, so I'm gonna leave those other ones in. I need to see how much this uh, rim and tire is, because that looks like it's in good condition. Um, just curious, do these match mine? Well, no, nah, they, got, they got the different one, but I don't know, I could possibly still use it as a spare. But I don't know, that's a good tire though. But anyway, guys, I am out on this video. Uh, I'm going to let you know how much this costs. But we out, man. Successful junkyard hunt. That way I'm not stranded on the side of the road again. Definitely not a fun part when this thing keeps riding by blowing dirt all in your face. I know my glasses probably look like crap right about now. All right, guys. You see that? So the total for these two right here, we paid 
five dollars eighty six cents. And so if you count the amount to get in, five dollars, five dollars to get in, so ten dollars eighty six cents is what we paid for this right here. And so I'm not sure, cause I still don't know what the name of this is, but you know I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than buying them actually brand new. I could be wrong, but anyway I'm happy, I'm satisfied, cause me and my girl we got a road trip coming up pretty soon and. Like I said, I don't want to be stranded like that again, um, especially when I can just, <laughs> I had to check for a minute. I'm like, this gate open? <laughs> especially, you know, if it's something that can be, you know, fixed in a matter of minutes, you know, once the tow truck comes. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, man. We out of here.